get a chance, I'm gonna give another big shout out to Rock Your Face Entertainment. Hey, how good is this audio we've been having tonight? It's been way better than it ever has. I'm telling you right now, everybody check out Rock Your Face Entertainment. RockYourFaceEntertainment.com, yours spell you are face.com. Yeah, amazing. definitely. If they can make us sound this good, uh, definitely you gotta do it. I'm telling you, we look good, we gotta sound good now, so hit up Mark on RockYourFaceEntertainment.com. All right, main event. We've seen these guys before. Let's see what the outcome is going to be tonight. I think between these guys, they've had 60 plus fights. Yeah, yeah, true. They've been around the game a long time. Very long time. Trombley's the man, dude. Trombley's Tromb been around a long time. He's going against the gamer Slayton. Slayton won the first time around, choked Trombley unconscious. Yeah. But I think we might see. Maybe not a different outcome, but a different triumph in this fight. This, yeah. There's been some words behind this fight, and this is a heated yeah, battle right now. This definitely has become a, a grudge match. 100%, you know? It's safe to say these are two kids who do not like each other. Kind of like that, actually. I know that that's becoming more rare in uh, our sport because the camps kind of uh, train together and you know we do all these things and it's uh, the camaraderie of the sport so you don't see a lot of this but uh, it is kind of refreshing because you know that they take it personal and, and I kind of like that. Well absolutely you know what you know, I've always had a number of respect uh, Mr. Trombley but like John Slayton has been a family friend of mine since yeah. we could yeah. you know we grew up we grew up together you yeah. know what I'm saying he's part of the airport boys I mean you gotta admit the airport boys have produced some of the best fighters you know yeah my, or not, not to be arrogant, but myself, my brother, Slayton, Sidoni, yeah. Devin Brown. Airport High School, Carlton, Michigan, yeah. has put together some of the baddest of the bad. And it's just that farm boy toughness. This is what it is, you know what I'm saying? You, you guys, uh, you got to do what they, what those uh, boys did down in Arizona and open up your own gym. Yeah, you know what? But there's it's too much there's too much egos involved for that, you know? Yeah. And, uh, we're going yeah. to let, let that one go. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> we'll let that one slide. But uh, like I said, I've known John John for years and you know right now this is something I should uh I shouldn't be commentating because this is something I uh oh, I yeah, actually corner, close personal for I you. corner John every fight usually but I said no I'm not gonna do it tonight and um yeah this is something close to personal but like I said I have the utmost respect for Mr. Trombley. Trombley's a gamer dude he always impresses me every time he's out there. Your main event championship fight of the night you All right, let's get this official introduction here. And so many more. Thank you very much to the Imperial House having us this evening. Introducing your fighters. First, fighter standing to my right. Tonight, he is out of the blue corner. Wearing the blue trunks, trimmed in under armor. He comes to us at 5 feet 11 inches tall. Weighing 204.8 pounds. Coming to us with a very impressive record of 30 wins. Only seven losses. Coming from Dundee, Michigan, the freestyle fighter behind Ralph Machuda, Adam the Joker Hit the corner across the cage. Man standing to my left. Tonight, he is out of the left corner. Wearing the gray trunks, trimmed and sprawl. He comes to a standing at six feet, three inches tall. Weighing in at 204 pounds. Putting his nine and seven record on the line here tonight. A freestyle mixed martial artist. Training under Brandon Copeland and Jose at the Trap Toledo Grappling Academy. The reigning, defending, light heavyweight champion, John Bad news, Ben Lagman, for your official rules. These people look good show. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my instructions at all times. This is five rounds. Touch gloves here. Come out fighting. 
Five rounds for one of the biggest championship matches of 2013, y'all. All right, final fight of the night, Drew. I think I'm about to see a shocker here. Surprisingly, these gentlemen are about to touch gloves. Are they really? I was not expecting that. Me but neither. Yes, they go. Oh, wow. I think they respect each other more than they want. And yeah, they don't like each other, but they do respect each other. I do like that. You know, that's just, that's just part of the game alone. I don't think these guys want to stand at all. Yeah. But I think if it does come to stand up, I think John has the advantage on that point. Um, Trombley is known for exactly what he just did right there. Yeah. And John is known for exactly what he just did right there. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice pulling out the rug. This is what Trombley is very dominant at, obviously. And uh, But Slayton does have a very good guard. He does have good jiu-jitsu. Yeah, especially for a 205 er you don't see a lot of very mobile, aggressive, strong guards. No, uh, you really don't. You know, and this, you know, like I said, I've known Slayton for years. Slayton is probably the best kid to wrestle and never win a state title, to be honest. Um, yep. This kid at 215 was, he's never lost a match in wrestling ever. Mm -hmm. But we used to just bring him in for districts and regionals, and that was it. <laughs> and he would never wrestle individually, wow. just for team. But he would beat state champions easily. Wow. But he would say, I don't care about state titles and not wrestle. Yeah. I know he went down and trained with American Top Team for a while. Yeah, he was down there with, uh, in Orlando. Went down yeah. with his brother, American Top Team. Yeah. Um, he was looking good down there, man. He's looking yeah. good too. I'm glad to see John back because for a Me while there, John, you know, John was saying he was done. He was yep. probably the upper, uh, you know, echelon of 205 pounders. Yeah. Good. Now he's looking strong, man. I like that. He the, just shoved that one right off. Yeah, they're both looking very good. Oh, look to go for, for a knee bar. That's not looking very good. That's not smart for these guys. They're too heavy because if you can't move him. He can't move him. Oh, wow. He's extending the leg. This is trouble. John's controlling those hands. He's all right, I think. Yeah. You know, he's, uh, he's fun all right. The problem here for Adam is that you're definitely gonna in a place where you're going to get hit. Especially with those long gorilla arms of John. Yeah. You know? And now, now he's in a bad situation. This is exactly oh, how John beat him last yep, time. Yep. Took his back. You got to clear that hand. But just one thing about Adam Trombley, man, he does not give up. Nope. You really have to put him to sleep. Yep. Good shots there by John. Landing everything on the ear. And his breathing is looking real comfortable. Yeah, John has actually a, a couple of different sweeps right now that he doesn't even, I don't think he realizes he even has. I mean. Yeah. Being a wrestler, you should naturally know he has that sweep, but I mean, he's he's gonna bust out here. I think he's gonna try to you know, get a roll. Get yeah. a roll. Yep. Yeah. He's a baseball baseball bat. It. Yep. Yeah. Bump 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 bump. Short there time. Oh, good. Way to finish the round strong. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was after the well, after the bell. There. But that, that's a little bit about the referee getting in between, you know. Sometimes the fighters don't hear the bell. Yeah. Especially a title my fight where you know feelings and emotions are running high. Yeah, you kind of have to get him in the middle. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and. Uh, I, I mean, I, I would say that was a little disrespectful on Adam, too, doing that. Yeah. I probably would have popped him, too. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, you, you got to be respectful the whole way, you know. I, I probably, you know, I would do the same thing John did. So. That, that is what they call me sometimes. Sometimes they do. I am very impressed with this fight. Um, I guess uh, unbiasedly, I'm going to give that first one to Adam. Are you really? Yeah. Takedowns probably dictating that one for you? The takedowns, yep. Because yep. I think he got landed on pretty hard. Whoa, nice little head kick attempt. Who would you get that first round to, Harley? I don't know. That one was too close. I, I don't even, I can't even pick. I'm just trying to say unbiasedly. Nice. Oh, big land. Oh, 
Excellent sprawl, but he's got to finish that though. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there we go. He's around. He's around. That's, That's deep. deep. That's deep. That's how I beat him last time. That's That's all good. she That's wrote. That's it. That's a big man on top of that cage. Yeah. You know what? I'm scaring the entire PAP really, section. I really think it's safe to say that John Slade has reclaimed his dominance back at yeah, 205. I agree. You know, he, he he came back from that broken jaw and he's came yeah. back strong. Yeah. He looks so fresh too. Yeah. He didn't even breathe hard the whole fight. Let's we'll see how Adam Trombley reacts right here. Show respect. That's awesome respect yeah. right there, gentlemen. Yep. Well, yeah, I believe me, you don't want to do that, but that's the right thing to do. 